Hey everyone, Ali Reza here. Good to see you again. In this video, I'll show you how to put a simple scene together and render a shot out of it which you can use as an artwork or game cover or whatever you need an image for. This tutorial is targeted towards beginners, so I want to keep it as simple as possible and by the end of this video, you will be able to create an environment like this and render a presentable image from your scene. Now let's jump into it and get started. It's always a good idea to start with gathering pictures and creating a mood board. The core idea of the scene I want to create is a foggy and misty mood with a man standing in the middle of the scene, so I gather some renders based on this idea. As you can see, these renders have a lot of details and it will take some time to be put together, but don't worry because we are aiming for a very simple shot and we don't want to go crazy on the details, so these pictures will only function as a starting point and a sense of what we are going after. As you probably have noticed, it reminds us of the TV show Peaky Blinders, so I also gathered some shots from it too. This will help us to have a more accurate sense of what we are going after in our final shot. Alright, the first step is adding the character to the scene. In this case, I am going to use Sketchfab and download this man in quote model. In the search bar, just type man in quotes and check the downloadable option so you can find it in the results easily. Download the FPX format and then drag it into your content browser. In order to change his pose, open the animation and in the skeleton tree find the body parts you want to change and by rotating and moving them you can recreate the pose you want. In our case, we just want his hands to look like they are in his pocket, so I created this pose for him, which from our camera angle will be looking fine. So just hit record and save the animation to your content browser and then drag it into your scene. Alright, now what we want to do is grab some assets from Quixel Bridge and start creating the environment. I am using this modular building asset for my buildings and I am going to add this roof kit on top of them. I also downloaded another building kit to make it less repetitive and also some other assets to fill the same with. For the floor, I am using this Tundra material which looks compatible with the other assets in the environment. Okay, now in this section of the process, I want to create an intersection and make my character standing on its sidewalk. So I'm going to use my assets and block out my environment. Just duplicate the models and put them beside one another and create the context for our character. Here I chose this camera angle with a 50mm lens and from now on we should only care about what is visible inside this frame. Here I placed this wall so I have a foreground for my image and to frame the picture. But the problem here is that these lines are looking too straight and too clean which doesn't look natural. So we should do something about it. Here I just downloaded some wooden beams and placed them on the wall and now as you can see it's not looking straight anymore and looks more natural. We are aiming for a dark and moody lighting and these assets will be completely black so we won't see their details and textures. We will only see their shapes so don't worry if it looks dirty and unrealistic. The last asset I'm gonna add to the scene is a steam particle which you can find in the starter content and in the particles folder. Just drag it into the scene and place it behind the wall to make the image look more interesting. Alright, now we need to create the lighting. Let's delete all the lighting actors and start from scratch. I'm going to add a directional light, a sky atmosphere, an exponential height fog and also a point light behind this wall to have more control over my lighting here on my character.
By holding control and L and then moving your mouse, you can change the direction of the sun and find the angle which works best for your scene. The exponential height fog also has a critical role, so by tweaking its values, you can achieve the result you like most for your final image. And that's it, this is what I have achieved in a very short period of time and I think it looks good enough for a simple project, so let's take a screenshot and finish the job. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, see you next time.